Hey everyone, how you doing today? Thought I'd uh, show you an update to the space station, and then uh, got a little carried away and made another space station. Uh, <laughs> so on the last time I showed this, I was uh, messing around with these uh, module ports and all this other stuff, and it was kind of like I was getting away from what I was trying to build in the first place, um, making it too big and things like that. So I kind of I worked out this a lot more. I actually cut that whole back section off from here. Um, and maybe if I do have module ports on this one, I'll probably just have like a uh, entryway coming in like uh, over here, or over here and just really simple and not have to build out a big structure to uh, park uh, modules and things like that. Um, however, I mean, as I was working on this, I was kind of like, you know, I kind of like the idea of like these uh, angled landing pads and maybe a central structure. I just keep on thinking that this would work best in kind of a large elaborate base or a space station and I was uh, really trying to keep this one kind of simple you know and, and I was I, I think I was just getting kind of carried away but anyway um, on the inside here um, I haven't here let me get the light on I didn't put lights in it and it doesn't have uh, a lot of things set up yet but I was kind of working on the uh, the texturing in the interior layout so this would be uh, again designed for no gravity. So there's absolutely no floor in here either. Um, I guess it could easily be con uh, be converted to gravity. I could put an elevator or something like that. But basically, I just kind of wanted you to fly around inside of here and uh, uh, do all your business. You also have a uh, farm section over here. Well, actually on both sides, uh, right off from there. So I don't know. Just curious what what you think about the idea of no gravity and open floor like this versus um, you know the the normal the elevator and go up to the next floor or staircase or something like that. Um, but uh, other than that, it has uh, quite a lot of function in it. Um, just to take a look at its storage, um, I don't th I don't have anything labeled yet, but it does have uh, 12 uh, uh, storage controllers. Some of them are 640s. Um, in fact, I think, uh, oh, I must have broke that one. I've been having trouble with this station, too, and where I got kind of uh, crammed up here. But uh, it does, yeah, let me just finish the, the first thought before I move on to another one here. Um, other than that, it does have quite a lot of storage in it, mostly 640 uh, storage controllers. This one should be, but I broke it, it looks like. Um, and I think that is, uh, oh, wow, this one's broken too. Basically, my, my dilemma why I was breaking things, I had them all working, and then I was really trying to figure out how to get this pathway going up to this top landing pad here through this section. And unfortunately, because of where the furnaces are, um, this uh, my opening isn't working right now because it's... Uh, I'm trying to like push you further away from the uh, the furnaces so you don't get fried every time you come in. And I gotta like remove some of this, but this is like complicated storage controllers and things like that. I keep on messing them up and been kind of going back and forth trying to figure that out. So as I was working on this one, um, I just was like, well, let's try another one. <laughs> so I did. So I did. So over here is the uh, the brick station. Um, this one is uh, was built completely different than the other station. Um, don't mind the uh, the uh, Maximus Mall on top of it. I was just kind of demonstrating as a repair bay, but this one is um, this is a uh, pretty hardcore production base here or production uh, space station. I'm not exactly thrilled about the uh, solar panel arrangement. Um, I try to put them on there. Uh, I had to keep them down from the top so you could uh, repair CVs across the top side of this. And I really didn't want to put solar panels on here at all, but it would be kind of silly not to have solar panels on something like this. But this one I'm really actually happy with. Now, it's a very simple design, so it, it certainly isn't trying to be extravagant or anything like that, but it's really to the point. And it's got more uh, production uh, capabilities than any other creation I've made ever, um, including like the Solaris station. This thing I actually has quite a bit more production than the Solaris station does, um, and storage. So uh, it has three floors. Uh, you can access all three floors from outside of the station. That's a, a weird thing. I, I wanted to uh, make uh, everything very quick and easy on this uh, station. So you can, uh, but there's an elevator in here, so you can uh, stay inside the station and get to each, each floor. And each floor has a different purpose and different things. Um, now, 
I'm starting to work on the interior, but uh, a lot of it is uh, very much unfinished. Uh, so down on the on the first floor here, this is a furnace alley, um, and this has got some uh, 320k storage bays in it. So there's a couple there, a couple there, and a couple more up in the front. So six 320s down here, and then you got six spots for uh, furnaces off to the side over here. This uh, other area, once I get it finished up, is going to be uh, probably dual purpose. I might have a section over here, which is going to be a little bit of brief engineering stuff, maybe like a gravity generator, uh, things like that. Um, and the other side, probably a little bit of a crew area or something like that. Uh, maybe, maybe a little bedroom or something like that. Um, so not a lot going on there besides holding furnaces on the, on the, uh, first floor. So when you get up to the second floor, here is the farming complex. Now I started working on this one. I started working on the ceilings and stuff, but I have not, <clears throat> I have not finished it. Uh, so there's quite a bit more here to do. Got to add in the fridges and the stuff and try to uh, detail it a little more and get uh, lighting switches for all the grow lights and things like that. Now it won't come stock with the grow lights, but this, uh, this one does have 162 grow plots in here. Um, I'll have these removed and filler blocks or something in place. Uh, when I do release the uh, the station. So that is floor two farming. Um, floor three is the one I'm most excited about. Now this is uh, far from complete. I started texturing it and working on it a little bit, but um, this is uh, basically your constructor, uh, deconstructor alley, um, and it can hold a lot of them. So you, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times two, so 14, constructors or deconstructors and it's got room for uh four little constructors there or small constructors um in the inside of this room i'm probably going to have some islands in here um, one might be a med bay another what, a little cooking station another like your armor locker armor repair uh basically all your utility functions will probably be in the center part of this room so this is basically this complete uh production setup here and then obviously there is no more floors above here, but it does go up to the uh, the top of the uh, station where you're gonna have a repair bay over here. I got to figure out where I'm gonna put the console. I know I got to put the console at least two blocks down from the uh, the surface area, otherwise uh, the player and the console will interfere with repairing ships. I learned my lesson before on that one, so uh, I'll figure out where that's going. It uh, I don't know yet. I'll have to I'll have to work out something neat uh, for that. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully. Um, so now one of the most impressive things about this particular station though is its storage. Um, this thing was built, its primary hull material in this case, um, and it was built kind of from the inside out, um, is actually car, uh, cargo extensions. Um, and it's got a lot of cargo in it. Um, in fact, um, God, I think the, uh, the, the numbers here, I see that. Yeah, it's, uh, okay. So I've got, yeah, these are, uh, 320s here and the rest of these are six. No, that's 320. These are 640s. Um, so if you do the, the, the full tally count on this, it has 16 640s and 12 320K uh, storage base in this in this base. Um, which is a lot. I mean, it's a lot of storage. It's more than I've ever done before. But every, every available place I could, um, well, almost, is uh, cargo extensions um, everywhere in this thing. Um, I got some of these areas textured, but I mean, everything's cargo extensions <laughs> wherever you look a lot of the floors cargo extensions it's limiting on textures used i can't quite use all the textures i want to where i want to but um yeah with that amount of storage if you think about 16 uh uh 640s that would be like 32 320s there plus another 12 um 320s so if you're kind of you know it, it's like 44 320k storage base which very much outdoes the uh, the Stellaris station, which probably had the most potential storage. Even if you filled in the 10 extra uh, 320K storage on the uh, Stellaris station, this still has more in it. Um, now, I'm just I'm trying to also keep this very inexpensive, uh, and that's another thing. It's it's currently not using any of the uh, uh, fancy glass. I'm just using crappy glass, <laughs> basically the very cheap stuff. Not even armored. Um, now I've got. Uh, with generators and stuff, this is kind of a neat thing, too. There's these little outcoves on how all this came together, um, which is really cool because it's going to give you a lot of spots to add in a nice safe zone to put in uh, a bunch of generators, and it's going to need solar capacitors as well. Um, 
so there'll be it'll come stock maybe even with a smaller generator a couple of the the littler generators that don't require any rear parts but you have plenty of space in here and quite frankly if you loaded this up and had uh, everything uh running at the same time say 14 constructors deconstructors six furnaces um I don't know exactly how much power that's going to take at once, but uh, basically it'll be set up so you can, you know, if it's got a power problem, you can add more. I'll probably try to do some kind of test on that to see, you know, how much power does actual, um, like a bunch of production simultaneously take from the station. Um, I don't know. I don't think the solar panels alone could cover that. You know, it is running the uh, the 24 solar panels. Um, but uh, yeah, the, the uh, backside's a little bit different than the front side on its uh, makeup, uh, but it does the same general thing. You've got uh, three, three ways in, so you can go right to the floor you want to get to, like production on the top, and you can pass right through here out the other side of it. Um, it does have a couple other uh, openings on the side, uh, but they only, I, I guess I could extend this to get into the constructor area. I don't actually think I can. I think the constructors block that. Um, but you can get into the farms going through the side too. I just wanted a lot of uh, uh, ways in and out of here as it's really, it's not meant for any kind of combat or anything like that. It's, it's made of carbon and cargo extensions. Um, it doesn't have any guns on it. I'm not planning on putting a shield on it or turret positions or any of that stuff. Um, this is just a hardcore um, storage production farming station. Um, that's, uh, you know, can uh, take advantage of solar the, be the best that's allowed in the game. Um, and reforging right now, at least, I should say. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep these O2 things here. They're sealed on the other side. There's cargo extensions, again, everywhere. If I were to identify blocks, you'll see that the majority of the blocks that build this station are, in fact, cargo extensions. I, <laughs> there's a lot of them in here. <laughs> But, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this one. It doesn't look like much. It's a very simple design. It's just uh, not much going on there. But, um, yeah, it, it, I think, you know, versus the other station I'm working on, um, I think this one is generally more practical. It doesn't have landing pads, really. I guess you could land some, some smaller crafts on the top of it, um, but that would, you know, interfere with the repair bay if you wanted to uh, repair a ship there, too. But it's just... It's about production. It's about taking all your stuff in, bringing it in here, plus a farming operation of 162 grow plots, which is actually the same as what this one has. This also has 162 grow plots in it. Um, now, this one in storage, obviously considerably less. This has, uh, I think it's sitting at 11 640s in here, which isn't bad. I mean, that's still like 22, 320s, how I would normally rate it. Almost the same storage capacity as the uh, Carapace C3. I, uh, I'm sorry, C7 that I built a, a, a while back, which I think had the most amount of cargo in any of my uh, creations to date, uh, moving creations, that is. Um, so, uh, yeah, this one outdoes it by quite a bit, actually. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, what was it determined? Let's see, 16 times 2, that's 32 plus 12. So, yeah, 44, 320K storage it would uh, equate to, but a lot of them are 640s. Having uh, the bigger storage like that allows you to not have to separate so many as much, which gives you more storage density, um, I think, is, is the big big thing in here. But I wanted, you know, some 320s. I also have a number of cargo boxes, and I'm going to try to do a, uh, a nice job with labeling everything in this and have places for, like, everything. So it's, I mean, it's a production base. It's designed just to, just to do in-game processing, work, farming, building, whatever, whatever you're doing. And that's really all it does. It's not trying to do any fluff or anything like that. Um, now, right now, I have two of the bigger generators in here, but let me uh, let me pull those out. Um, I just wanted to take a look at its material cost. Now, I don't have any of the equipment in here right now, so it doesn't have any of the constructors or deconstructors. Why I'm doing this is I wanted to get rid of the the cost for the uh, the bigger generators. So I wanted to just put in a couple. Well, I guess I had these already equipped here. A couple of these baby generators. Um, and it would need a couple of capacitor stock. I don't think those uh, capacitors really require anything uh, special for uh, materials, though. So with those two in place and not using the larger ones, which I think use some cobalt and stuff, um, if we take a look at our specs. Um, oh, yeah, and it wasn't going to come with these uh, hydroponics units. Something in here is still using cobalt. Could it be the generators I just placed? 
I'm not sure exactly what is using the cobalt. I'm, I'm essentially trying to keep this like super cheap, super cheap and easy to spawn in game. Now it's still going to have a production time that's pretty big because of the enormous amount of storage in here. Um, and again, it's not going to come stock with the uh, hydro or the uh, your grill plots here. But yeah, I still don't exactly know what I'm what is costing the uh, the cobalt in here. Um, let me, uh, let me just see, uh, 136, let me place one more of these and see if that ups the cobalt count here. Oh, come on, just place, there. okay, uh, 136, no, it's not that, I didn't think it was these, those little ones, I didn't think required any cobalt, so I'm a little, uh, a little confused at that, and what what does actually need the cobalt? I don't have any um, CPU blocks in here yet either. Speaking of CPU, um, well, obviously stock with no equipment in it, it's, it's low. Um, so I'll have a place to add CPU blocks, but once you add a bunch of furnaces and constructors, deconstructors, all your equipment in here, uh, the CPU will go up, but it'll have room to add CPU blocks to compensate for that. So not so worried about that either. Um, however, I think uh, vanilla would completely uh, mess this thing up because vanilla charges a bunch of CPU for the storage. And um, I'll have to take it into vanilla to see how it'll play, but I think with this much storage in it, it's going to blow the CPU in, in vanilla for bases, um, even without any equipment in here. Um, it's just, just the way vanilla works. So this may have to be a Reforged Eden creation. As you can tell, I'm a little more excited about this one than I am the other one. Even though the other one, you know, technically could look a little bit neater. It's more of a intricate design. Um, it's just, uh, I guess what I was really looking for is a very, very useful space station in game uh, for, you know, mid to late game to do, like, all the processing, all the ore stuff, and something uh, very much smaller and cheaper than say like the Solaris station, which kind of does that with the module bays and stuff. This one, I wasn't really planning on doing any kind of module bay, anything with it. It's just pretty much straightforward um, as how it is. And of course, I also want any kind of space station to be able to do uh, like uh, CV repairs or, or just basically repair bay in general, which these can repair CVs as well as your SVs and HVs and just about everything. Um, yeah, the only thing I'm really looking at changing, obviously, is finishing up the interior, making it all pretty, and get the lights on switches and some LCDs for all the stuff, label it. Um, I don't know if I like my solar setup here. It was, uh, I tried a couple different things. I tried going, like, out this way with them a little more. It either works, but I don't like the looks of it either way. I mean, I kind of liked it without the solar panels, but... It would just be absolutely silly not to have solar panels on a, a base like this. So that would just be a waste of fuel big time. Um, as in Wi-Fi too, it does have Wi-Fi mounted in each front corner. And I also put Wi-Fi out actually on the solar panels um, out over here. Um, I got to finish up doing some texturing and detailing. I'll try to make uh, some of this stuff look better as I go and, and whatnot. But uh, just curious on your thoughts on these stations. Um, you think any of these would be uh, useful for your gameplay? Um, I can't. I uh, yeah. Th this one, I guess, has similar capabilities with farming and solar. Um, this one has uh, more docking space for uh, like some SVs. Um, I guess uh, you're not really going to get CVs in there, even if they're dinky. I don't think I don't think they'll fit. Um, uh, one other thought I had on this one too is I was half tempted to actually rip off the top whole structure and maybe just leave the bottom, but that would look kind of ununiform, I think. Um, but maybe I could compensate if I uh, restructured how the solar panels were set up. Uh, but it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't really need this, and I'm failing to get doorways, and I wanted to get some windows in here, but due to the density of all the storage in here, I just, I can't, I can't do that. I don't have that opening space. Now, I'd like to actually do something like this again sometime, but on a larger scale. Um, I think that would be kind of neat, but uh, I guess overall, I just didn't, I didn't want anything. I, I was kind of looking for something to bring in the game to use. Um, and this one, you're kind of paying, not, it's not expensive. I mean, it's all carbon substrate and whatnot, but you're kind of, it, it's not near, for its size, 
it's not near as uh, productive as what this other one is. This this one kind of blows the doors off that one. It's more than double. Well, besides the the farming, it's it's got more than double the storage. It's got it's got nearly twice as many places to put constructors, deconstructors. It holds more furnaces. Um, that one's not bad though. It's, it can still do four furnaces and still has you know I think uh, uh, eight eight uh, constructors, deconstructor slots, uh, where this one kind of like kind of doubles everything pretty much, um, and way, way more storage. So, um, yeah, that's, that's what I've been doing. I've been kind of freaking out now. Yeah. I, I also kind of regret, I, uh, there was a base tours yesterday and I lost my internet, a uh, good part of yesterday. Uh, so yeah, I realized I got my internet back about 10 o'clock last night and then I actually worked on this till about midnight, but I worked on it earlier in the day too. Um, so anyway, that's all I've got going on. Let, let me know your thoughts. As in naming, I haven't thought of a name for that one at all. And um, But this one, I might just call it something to do with a brick, um, like brick station or something like that. Something simple. I mean, it's a very simple looking design. Not really a lot going on with it. Uh, repetitive along the side. Just not my normal building style. But this is one of those creations that was kind of built from the inside out to try to uh, be a lot more... I don't know, optimal with uh, cargo extension placements versus the other base. Um, this was basically, I built the station first and then decided to add the cargo secondary, um, which of course makes it a little more confusing, uh, especially if you've got to make changes after the fact, and then you can easily screw up cargo systems and they're running all over the place and it gets complicated. This one is a lot more straightforward. It's simpler on the layout of cargo extensions and it it works out better and i was able to get a higher density in this uh for the size it is it's got a just a lot of cargo plus your interior space so i'm, I'm pretty happy with it although it's very boring to look at <laughs> but uh, um uh, sometime again once i get done with some of these projects here i'll try to look into something more uh larger and elaborate to build again um but i just just kind of like a break these are smaller things that aren't as intricate is tricky they are not like a month long build in fact i'm i'm hoping if i uh jam on this i might actually be able to finish like this one up today um this one i'm less excited about it was a concept idea of course with this and i kind of like the idea of that i just kind of wish the whole thing was scaled up a little bit bigger so i could fit everything and make it kind of the way i would want to envision it um and i think it could be pretty cool but for practicality sense this other one's going to blow the doors off it <laughs> so unless unless you got to dock a lot of you know svs or something on your space station um that's really the, its only thing but i think for the most part people probably have their svs docked to their cvs um anyway so you can move them around with you uh, unless you're just warping with the svs i don't know people do different things play the game different ways so anyway y'all have yourself a great day and i will uh, talk to you later